It's a big problem. Yeah, that's a problem. Really, it seemed the. Uh, are we ready? <laughs> it seemed the uh, first quarter, the defensive problems that were in San Antonio kind of carried over. What changed between that first sec first quarter and second quarter? Did you talk to the guys? I mean, obviously there's different personnel, but the, obviously there there was some some issues in that first quarter still. Yeah, I, I think that um, I think in the first quarter we had the right intentions, but I thought the thing we did a really poor job of our closeouts. You know, we're we're below the three point line, and what I mean by that is we're stopping under the three point line, like worried about getting driven, and then when they rise up to shoot. You're going out there and contesting. It's too late. You've got to run out there with your heels above the three-point line, and you have to basically understand that you may get beat off the dribble. But I think we, we talked before the game, the number of threes these guys take, that's what ends up happening. And I think they were made their 10 of their first 12 shots, and I think they were six of eight from the three-point line to start the game. And you know, I was even talking to Io about a situation. You know, McCollum towards the end of the quarter is like, he's got the ball and he's working him and working. All he's doing is he's working him below the three-point line so he can get off a three. Like, we got to stay up in those situations. So we got to be able to be in help. Like, we had a really good play, I think, to close the first half. where We were really in a really good shift. We jammed up the lane. We got to steal and we got out. But our closeouts to the corners, our closeouts to the high slot, we've just got to go. And we got to get our feet above the three-point line. And so many times our feet are below the line. And then we're trying to put a hand up. And it's just – they're just in rhythm, you know. And I thought we got better – as the game went on. And that was certainly to your point, a problem in San Antonio where they, they, they made a high number of threes in San Antonio, when they shoot the ball, well, they're hard to beat. And, you know, against us, I thought some of our closeout situations are just too short. We got to go up there. And I, and I get it. Cause you know, you're trying to do, it's really hard to do two things, take away the three and contain the ball. But for me, I'd rather take away a rhythm three and expect to have help around me. Cause you're going to sometimes get beat. Like if you're closing out to McCollum and you're trying to take away a three, he's too good off the bounce. He's just, he's going to put you in a tough spot, but where you get caught is in no man's lane where you're not really taking away the three you're taking away the drive, but you're letting them tee up rhythm threes. And I thought that was the problem in the first half. And I thought it was the second half when we were a little bit better. Are they okay? I think he hit in the stomach from what he said to me. I didn't talk to him after the game, but um, I think he, he just got hit in the ribs or the stomach there. And um I think I think he was fine to go back in, and he said he was okay. But that's what he was complaining about. What big picture significance, if any, do you place on matching last season's uh, victory total after 49 games? Yeah, I don't think you know, Casey. I mean, it has anything to do with anything, just because our team's totally different. Maybe I think if our team was exactly identically the same coming back into this year, and you wanted to say, okay, has there been some growth? But I mean, Patrick Williams and I think Zach and. Um, and Kobe are the only three guys, you know, so it's really, really hard to sit there and say just because the roster has been turned over. But um, these guys have done a good job, like I said, and I'm really hopeful that we can use these six to eight weeks, you know, knock on wood, we can get whole and really have our whole team. Can we really utilize this time to develop, you know, IO and Kobe and just get better defensively? What did you make of Kobe's last couple of games? I mean, he had that recent stretch where he really struggled from three, but what do you think of his last couple of games? Yeah, I think he's had a really good mix the last two games of drives and threes. You know, that's been the really nice part for him. And I've always said, I say it all the time, is like he'll, when he goes through a tough time, like he always looks internally at how to get better. So, you know, I give him a lot of credit for sticking with it. And, you know, certainly in San Antonio, he shot it well. And it was good to see him have another good offensive night again tonight. And the other thing, too, I think he's really working and trying on the defensive end of the floor. He's finishing. He's shooting better from the floor everywhere, but at the basket especially. Why do you think he's finishing better? He's yeah, I, I think he's taking the right ones, Jamal. I think, you know, I, I, there are times, even last year, where he would drive and he could not really get all the way to the rim or to the backboard, and he gets shooting these floaters and these runners, and those are hard shots to make over the seven-footers. I think he's taken the right shots in the lane and shots that he can make. He's gotten better getting a little floater before he gets to the rim and then he's gotten to the backboard some as long as he's take as he's taken those those shots that he can shoot a high percentage on that that's that's the best thing and I think that's been the big part where he's made some pull-ups he's made obviously he's always been able to shoot a three but I think he's gotten better around the rim uh, you played Tony Bradley more tonight than you had the past few games kind of what you see there yeah I just thought we needed some size um you know I think Tyler gives us some flexibility as it relates to switching um defensively but I thought we wanted to you know at least have some presence at the basket B besides the fact that they shoot it well there's you know they're pretty aggressive drivers 
Uh, and I thought given maybe Tony an opportunity with his size at the rim to rebound and maybe some rim protection if the ball was coming downhill would be helpful tonight. And, you know, I thought I thought he gave us some good minutes when he was out there. Thanks, Coach. Okay, guys, thank you. Point defense isn't really your department so much, but you guys, it's kind of interesting how you guys have given up so many in these last few games, you know, especially since uh, losing Alex. So any thoughts on why that's happened and what you guys can do to correct it? Well, it's a mix of things, you know, uh, you know, a lot of it, if you know, once with a team like Portland or even San Antonio, when you let a team get downhill a lot and then, uh, you know, you have to get it in a help mode and scramble mode and, it, you know, they, they start kicking the ball out and you're always in rotations and it's hard to, you know, to get to shooters, especially nowadays with all this spacing. Uh, so I think, you know, it, it, and there's a lot of factors in it. You know, the, the closeouts, how we close out to players, be a little more aggressive with those, do a better job on initial plays, you know, in pinker rolls or any two-man game or things like that. Uh, just all depends. I think a lot of the threes that we do give up is once we get in rotation and then they start kicking the ball out and around and we just have to make that you know, extra effort, second, third side, where we have to do a little better job there. But I Ooh. thought as the game went on, we did better than to start the game, obviously. Vooch, how, how do you guys make sure? Uh, I know in that that nine game winning streak when Billy missed, you know, five six games, whatever it was, his concern was, yeah, you guys played really well offensively, but he was seeing problems defensively, and that was kind of being masqueraded by the offense. Tonight, the first quarter obviously wasn't what you guys wanted offensively, but you guys were still shooting the ball well. How do you make sure you guys don't fall back into that now that all three of you are back together and the offense is starting to fill hole again? That you don't kind of fall back into that rut of. Yeah, we're just going to outscore you. I think, you know, there, there were uh, past how many of our games, you know, where some of the games we lost, we understand it was because our defense wasn't good enough. And even tonight to start the game, you know, they, they, in the first quarter, you know, they really got going and we, we weren't, couldn't, weren't getting stops. And once we did, we were able to build a little bit of a lead. So I think now we have a much better understanding that, you know, if, if we really want to be, you know, a, a really good team and, you know, have a deep push at the end of the year, it has to, our defense has to be there. And, uh, you know, when, you know, you're winning and, you know, everything clicking offensively, you kind of get lost in that thing. But I think that we got the message now. And so hopefully we can just you know, continue to work on it and get better and become just more consistent. Because, you know, we've shown that we can do it. It's not like we just haven't been able to do it. And you're just like, we're not a good defensive team. And we've shown that we can do it. It's just about us doing it consistently every night and for 48 minutes. Which, what have you seen from Kobe in terms of his development? You know, as a finisher, a lot's been made of him, you know, attacking closeouts, making decisions on drives. Just haven't played with him as much as he did last season. You guys developed a nice little chemistry down the stretch. What have you seen from him in terms of his growth when he has been able to get on the floor this season? He's been, I mean, lately he's been playing really, really good for us. I think, you know, the, he's obviously more mature as a player after having a couple of two years of experience. Uh, I think, uh, you know, he, the understanding of the game is easier for him now. You know, as a guard, it's hard when you get to the league. You know, it's so, some of the best players are at that position. So it takes time. But I think that, uh, I mean, I was always a fan of Kobe, even when he got drafted. And I was with the Magic and playing against the Bulls. I was like his game. And when I came here as well, I think him and I, when Zach went out last year with COVID, him and I, you know, uh, really built up a good chemistry over the, over how many games Zach had missed. And, uh I mean, I really like him as a player, but I think he's, you know, accepted his role really well. I think that shows also maturity, you know, to go from being a starting point guard to, you know, come off the bench, have your role change, you know, shows maturity. And I think he, he did that and uh, he's accepted it and he's really been able to play really well for us uh, lately, especially with some of the guys that we have that been out. And I think the second unit, you know, his ability to shoot, to create, uh, I think he's one of our better players on the ball, you know, playing pick and roll and all that. So he's, he's huge for us. But the last, you know, two, three weeks, however it's been, he's been playing really well. Before the game, Billy talked about your role um, and how it's changed so much from Orlando. You haven't been the type to make excuses all season for anything that you've done offensively or defensively, but how much has that role change impacted the way you've performed this season? Do you think just not having the ball, not knowing when it's going to come, that type of thing that he talked about before the game? It was just for me making that adjustment. You know, obviously, it's not always easy to go from you know, when I was in Elaine the last couple of years, especially, you know, everything was ran through me, for me. I knew exactly how I was going to get my shots, where I was going to get my shots. Regardless of what was going on, I was going to get the X amount of shots, X amount of possessions. And so it was just figuring, you know, different role, playing with different players, playing a different style. And I just I knew it was going to take some time. You know, obviously at times, you know, you want it to happen quicker than, you know, maybe it is realistic and, you know, you get a little bit frustrated. But, I mean, I just knew, you know, obviously, 
at, at no point did I, you know, start doubting myself or think that that wasn't the same play. It was just me making that adjustment. Also, you know, mentally and also just getting to, you know, learn to play with DeMar, with Zach, with all Devonzo, Alex, and so on. Just figuring that part out and, you know, the new system, uh, me being in different spots, how can I still be effective? How can I still, you know, get a good mix of being inside and outside? Not, you know, so it's just figuring all those parts out. Uh, and I think as the season's been going on, I've been doing a much better job of finding my spots. I think lately, especially, I've uh, been able to get also more uh, touches closer to the basket, you know, with either post-ups or on rolls or things like that. So just trying to find my my spots and find my ways along our, our offense. I think, you know, just 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 through work and practice, uh, through games, watching film, things like that. Uh, I think the season has been going on. It's been going well, better and better. And so I'm just going to continue to do that. You've seen this before with, with big threes on all the teams, Chris Bosh in Miami, Kevin Love in Cleveland. Have you talked to anybody about having to acclimate to that third score role? Uh, no, no other players, actually. Uh, that is a good idea, but I haven't, no. Uh, no, I just, I mean, honestly, it, it's not something that I necessarily, like, you know, just put as much, you know, um, like, taught to where it was, like, something that was kind of, how to put it, like, bothering me or like oh like i'm not getting as many touches what, what i need to do is just just me trying to figure it out and i'm just trying to be you know wanted to be you know uh understand i have to be patient with it have to work through it and uh like i said at times you know you want it to happen and it's not going your way and you lose a game and you get a little frustrated and that's just you know, human nature you know you're competitor you want to win you want to play well that's all part of it and so but overall i thought i just did a good job just you know working my way through it and finding my ways and sometimes think for a big man it's a little different because you don't always have the ball you know you're not handling the ball, playing, picking roll, doing all that. You can find your spots. You're kind of depending on others a lot. And so I uh, just, you know, I think it was also them, trying, you know, figuring out how to play with a big man like me because, you know, where I can pop, I can roll, I can do different things. And sometimes God and I used to having a big man that can do all those things. So it's just, just a process and it still is a process. And it's still, you know, I think there's still so many ways that we can get better as a team and, you know, also developing our chemistry. But I think as the season goes on, it's going to get better and better. It's just nothing happens overnight. You're, you're tied with Giannis and Jared Allen for six in the league in, with double doubles. Uh, how much pride do you take in, 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 you know, doing that even with, though you had some inconsistency shooting earlier this season? Yeah, I take. I mean, I take a lot of pride in, in consistency. You know, it's something that I've really been good at all, all my whole career. And uh, you know, being a big man, you know, that that can score and does a good job rebounding. I think something that I can do uh, consistently. And so. I do take a lot of pride in that, especially the rebounding part. It's something I can always control every night, no matter what's going on at the airport. I can always you know box out my guy, grab the rebound, uh, or go crash the glass offensively. And uh, so I take a lot of pride in that. And uh, so I, I don't usually I don't follow that I, unless somebody tells me. But it's good to know. Hi, <laughs> thanks. For Thank no you. problem. Thank you. At attacking closeouts, uh, I'm just trying to take my time on the closeouts. I, I hit a couple. Uh, that's kind of what I've been doing, hitting a couple, and then uh, just playing off my shot. So and then dudes come flying at you. Uh, makes it easier to go by. How have you worked on trying to improve on that in terms of attacking those and then getting in the lane and either spraying out or finishing? Uh, I mean, I kind of started it last year. Um, I really haven't been really working on it, but you know, uh, watching a lot of film, kind of that's, that's been kind of the main thing. So you threw, you had, you had three threes in a row early, and then it seemed like teams were hammering. So it just seems like you didn't get as many looks after that. Do you think the, the defense is focusing on you once you knock a few down, or what? Uh, any no, I mean, <laughs> I had a couple open ones, but I drove the close out. Uh, I could have shot more, but. Uh, I figured that I could get in the paint and make a play and, and get an easier look. So, uh, I mean, my teammates were still finding me. It was just they were closing out harder. So makes it, like I said, easier to go by. Hey, Kobe, how do you guys make sure as a team? I mean, obviously defense has been talked about so much since, since uh, Alex and, and Lonzo went down. How do you guys make sure as a team that on days that you have good shooting days, whether it's, you know, outside or just overall, that that doesn't masquerade the defense, that that doesn't cover up the work you guys still have to do on defense? Uh, we just stay locked in. Um, you know, the coaches continue to be on us so on that end of the floor. And as a team, we want to, you know, get to another level on the defensive end. So I kind of we kind of just stay locked in uh, with 
you know, with the guys we have, you know, Zach, you know, Vooch, Demar, we know we can score. Uh, so those guys are mainly the ones that's preaching, you know, especially Debo, you know, uh, we got to get it done on the defensive end. So uh, those guys are all in. So, it, you know, we never lose lose sight of it. With your, uh, your current role, you've obviously both started and come off the bench. Mm-hmm. You were starting, Zach was out, Billy chose to stay with Iowa in the starting lineup and bring you off the bench. How are you with your role right now? Uh, I'm just, you know, whatever the team needs me to do. Uh, like I said from the beginning, my role changes all the time. So, uh, you know, I just got to adapt and continue to adjust. So, I mean, it ain't nothing new for me. You know, I've been doing it for a while. So, uh, whatever the team needs, like I said, you know, I, I, I'm down to do whatever. Well, it looks like you're more comfortable now catching and shooting. Because when you get it and you're letting it fly, are you feeling like you're in more of a rhythm right now in that department? Uh, I just feel like teams loading up against Zach and DeMar. So, if I can help them by making some catch and shoot shots and teams maybe won't load up as much. So uh, I'll just be trying to help those guys with spacing wise. So for me, it's just, you know, trusting my shot, like I said, and just if I'm open, just shooting it. You, um, since your first two years, improve your finishing. It looks like your finishing is getting a lot better this, year, this season. Uh, I mean, I locked in a lot. You know, it, it's been one of my main focuses uh, since I got here, since my first year. So it's just kind of all starting to come together. So. You know, uh, especially when I was hurt and I was coming back, that was one of the main things me and Flims was working on every day because I was able to just get into the gym every day and work out until I was cleared to play. So, uh, you know, it ain't nothing but work. Uh, just been going at it. So, is it a matter of angles, like finishing how you how you let it go or what? I feel like just touch around the rim, focusing on that, and then just finding different angles, and then finding when I need to attack and and, and get to the rim, and then finding when. You know, Vooch is open or Tony is open on the dump down or, you know, the, the weak side is open for me. Um, it's just deciding whether I'm going to take a, you know, you know, it's just the shot selection at the rim. And, you know, uh, so that's all it is. Kobe, back to Casey's question about your role. Billy said a couple of times that really since the start of last season, you're probably the guy on this team that's seen his role change the most mm-hmm. and just kind of chuckling around. What, if anything, have you learned about yourself as you've kind of been, learned to adapt um, to different things based on what's going on? What happened? Bengals, Bengals, Bengals got a pick. Oh, my bad. <laughs> uh, uh, nah, man, you know, it's just, I've been kind of just, like I said, I'm used to it. Uh, I've been, you know, like I said, moved around a lot, you know, my role, role wise. And I just be trying to stay the course, trying to stay level headed and trying to just do my job, whatever that may be. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, whatever role I got, I'm just going to gonna do it you know like I said a lot of that stuff out of my control anyway I can't control it so whatever the team needs I'm gonna just do it to help us win the games hey Kobe it seems a little <laughs> strange that uh your guy Nasir Little had the yeah. exact same injury as you mm-hmm. a couple of few months apart what, what are your uh thoughts on that I'm sure you've been talking to him a lot yeah I actually we, we talked yesterday and the day before uh he called me yesterday um it's just sad, man. You know, is is I wouldn't say like it's ironic. You know, things happen, but he was having such a good year. You know, I think in the month of January, he was averaging like almost 15 points a game. So uh, I just felt for him, and he kind of asked me what was the recovery process like. You know, I told him what I went through, some of the some of the challenges that that I went through day to day. Um, but like I said, at the end of the day, for him, just knowing him for a long time, he's so mentally strong, and and and, and you know got so much confidence in himself that uh, I have no doubt he'll get back to where he was and, and even better, so. What are they doing to you guys down in uh, nah. Chapel Hill to mess up your shoulders like nah, that? I don't, hey, he good though. He, he gonna be all right though. Nas, Nas, Nas gonna bounce back. Thanks, yeah. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks, yeah.